All right, this video is going to give you a second method to divide polynomials. It is called synthetic division. Notice here in the notes, it is a shorthand method, but you can only use this when you're dividing by a linear factor whose leading coefficient is one. So I can use it here in example one because my leading coefficient of x minus three is one and x minus three is a linear term. So I'm able to use synthetic division this way. If I were to set this up with long division, this is what it would look like. Okay, but instead with synthetic division, we don't really worry so much about all of the variable pieces. We just look at the numerical values. The number that we're going to use is when your divisor is equal to zero. We're gonna call that a C value, if you will, um, or X equals. So that's going to be what we use here. And you put it in a little box like this. It kind of looks like the division box, but it just allows you to realize like that is my divisor um, that I'm trying to use here. And then we only use the numerical coefficient values. All right, you bring this down. We then multiply here. So I would get 15 that goes right here. I then add straight down. I get 12. Again, I multiply and get 36. So I find using this method that I have a remainder of one. This term right here is then going to be one degree less than my original function. So 5x plus 12 is my quotient, and my remainder is one. All right, let's look at a second example. All right, if I want to divide 4x cubed plus 10x squared minus 6x minus 20 by x plus 2, I say, okay, x plus 2 equal to 0. That's at x equals oops, negative 2, or we can say c equals negative 2, um, either one of those. Um, we'll talk more about the c notation in later videos, um, but that's what we can use here. All right, so we say negative 2 here in this box. 4, 10, negative 6, negative 20. And then I bring this down. All right, 4 goes here. And then, of course, I multiply to get my negative 8. I add straight down. 2 times negative 4 gives me negative 10. Negative 10 times 2 gives me 20. Now, in this case, I get a remainder of 0. That's a really key indicator that negative 2 is, in fact, a solution or a divisor, and x plus 2 is actually a true factor of this polynomial. Now, remember, we write our quotient doing 1 degree less. So we'll have 4x squared plus 2x minus 10. What that means is 4x cubed plus 10x squared minus 6x minus 20 must be equal to x plus 2 times this factor here with a remainder of zero. So this is one way we're going to start learning how to factor polynomials that are not quadratics.